Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial I'm going to show you how to shake the camera. Now this is actually fairly easy to do and um, it's something that you, you generally tend to see a lot in games and you don't notice it's there until you actually make games and realize something's missing. So let's dive in on how to do that. It's, it's Again, it's really not that hard. So let's go ahead and let's end a blueprint class. And in here we have to end camera, uh, camera shake. Okay. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different options here. We need this one down here, camera shake. And let's just go ahead and push select here. And as you can see, we'll have a new print. We'll call this new shake or something. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it that here. So it should look like this. Now let's open this up here. Now in here, you'll see all of your uh, items here uh, that you can, you can go and, um, and play around with. Now, making a camera shake without doing the step won't really work. And if it does, well, it might be a little bit of a fluke. But nevertheless, you do have to play around with all these here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say five seconds and you can play around with all of these here. But one thing that you will need to play around with in order to make this work is the X, Y, and Z amplitude, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and push five for each one of these. And the frequency is going to be maybe um, one. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and play around with this. And we're also just going to play around uh, with, with each of these here, just so that I can uh, show you what's going on here. All right, let's go ahead and let's hop into the blueprints. And we're going to go to the level blueprint here. And we're just going to simply add in, um, uh, you can simply add in an e event begin play and we're going to add in camera shake it's really this this easy drag this over here go ahead and push the new shake and then I'm gonna say uh, camera and what was it it was camera manager right yes the camera manager so we can figure out where the camera is and then what I'm going to do is type in location and we're gonna say get camera location here now we're going to put the outer radius and what this means is that um, the outer radius is you're going to affect all the cameras in a specific area so let's say you're making a game and there's a bunch of players in it and then it's kind of like an earthquake so all those people within that kind of sphere are going to have the camera shake it doesn't really matter that much we'll just go ahead and put it at this thousand here the rest is not that important so if we go ahead and push play here well that didn't quite work the way we wanted it to so um, let's just see what's going on. Let's compile and save, and everything's good here. And um, let's see the oscillation blend time. Yeah, I think this is really good here. If it doesn't work, we'll jack up the numbers here. And sure enough, it didn't work the way we wanted it to. So let's jack this up to maybe 50, uh, 50 a piece here. 50 and 50. Go ahead and push play. And as you can see, <laughs> it is shaking but not the way we want it to. So what I'm going to do is the frequency I'm going to put maybe as 10 and 10 and 10. Okay. And let's go ahead and let's add that here. And there you go. You can see that that <laughs> is shaking, right? So let's maybe go ahead and put that as a hundred and a hundred and a hundred. All right. So the frequency needed to be higher and there you go. That's what I was looking for. Now, obviously that's a little bit too much right but you see it goes for five seconds and then stops here so let's go ahead and let's put that back down to my original value of five five and five and you can see that what this will do is you know it will shake here and that's actually not so bad now obviously five is a bit long like let's say you were doing something when um, you know you fire your your weapon or something maybe one second's a little bit better but and even that it's you know 0 0.02 you know and I'd say that's a little bit too small. 0.2 is what I was looking for. And then, you know, maybe again, that's maybe a little bit too small. So let's just do that to one here. And there we go. 
Okay, and you can see that that is is uh, pretty intense here. Now you don't have to. Um, I'm just going to set the amplitude of the uh, the y and the z back to zero, and you can see. Um, I'm just going to add that in here and maybe make the frequency a little bit more. So, right, you can see that. Um, you can in that case it just. Um, and basically, it just adds in the x axis, but let's add the amplitude a little bit more. And you can see that that's only working on the x, right? And if we do the same thing here, where we have on the y axis, right, you can see that, you know, it will shake on the y axis only. And that's obviously a lot here. Um, but you also notice that you can have um, the initial offset is zero. And if you do that, it's always going to be. Zero instead of like some random offset. Uh, well, what and what that means is like the start of the shake is always going to be at zero, which is like right in front of the camera, versus like some random number. You can also have the option of um, of slightly different um, camera shake uh, with the pearl and noise. Um, the sign is going to be a lot more even, and the noise is going to be a little bit more random. So it's up to you whether you want to do that here. So, um, you know, like I said, if you do something like 20, 20, and then 20, and then if you all do it with the Perlin noise, you will see that, um, you know, it's a, quite a bit random, right? And one of the things about camera shakes is you can do this, you know, <laughs> uh, you can do this a little bit. Uh, you can add in multiple camera shakes. It's completely up to you, all right? So that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. As of now, this channel is monetized, so it would definitely help us out if you like and subscribe. And share this specifically on Reddit. Uh, it does help when you share it. We get a lot of traffic from there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.